Hi, fancy meeting you here in this little old place. I'm Tish and this is Echo Echo. How is everybody going? What's the haps, haps happening? Uh, P.S. I may have to blur that because uh, the dogs, they are a humping and Wilbur is very keen, very keen. So he has no chill when it comes to that. <laughs> So today is referendum day and I wasn't nervous about it until yesterday because I wore a um, a shirt to school that says say yes to the voice uh, and I got harassed about it all day from students, you know, and even I suspect one of the staff members was like, mm, I don't know about that. I'm like, dude, it's, it's the table analogy. The parliament is a table, They're not getting rid of any chairs at the table. They're adding more chairs at the table. Anyway, um, just hearing the kids talk about it, it was like, I'm like, oh, oh, I think the no side's going to win. And that's just, and one of the, one of the more thoughtful kids was like, miss, what, what will you do if the no wins? And I said, I, I don't know. I, I would be really sad because I think it's terrible to deny, uh, the humanity of Aboriginal people and, you know, like, I think it's disgusting and it would be sad. And anyway, um, I think I said it on my Instagram, just like, I've done what I can. I voted today. That's what I can do today. And tomorrow, if the vote is no, there's a lot more work to do. So we'll see how we go. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I've been a little bit unmotivated to film anything this week and although my Courtney video fantastic numbers thank you for your support on that one everybody thank you thank you thank you uh she's <laughs> even more concerning I've got another live of hers to watch but I I I'm starting this video and I don't completely know who I'm going to do a video on so I've got a few choices I've got Courtney I've got a Kelsey Ray video and I've got a Veronica Bay slash Veronica Schreier video. So those are the three that I'm going to choose from. I think I'm going to do Kelsey Ray. Kelsey Ray. Oh, and I've also got to do a catch up with uh, crappy people using Facebook. So my source on Instagram, Jessica, shout out. Not Auntie Lushy, a different Jessica, but we, we do love Auntie Lushy here at Echo Echo. When's that channel coming along there, Lush? Hmm? Hmm? Anyway, we were also tomorrow we're roasting. Uh, yeah, so Jessica send me, sent me some more screenshots to expose the hunts, trying to trick people into doing network marketing who are in budgeting Facebook groups and so on. So it's so scammy. Yeah. Oh, the other option I had for, for this video today, it's Saturday afternoon. Uh, is something from Optavia. And I found an interesting one, which is all like medical experts or medical professionals and Optavia. And I'm like, ooh, 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 ooh. Because even though like Dr. A was an anesthesiologist, which is, yeah, you still have to go through med school and all that sort of shit. But he's not a dietitian, you know, just saying. And he's not practicing anymore. He works for the fucking, oh, what time is it? He works for the MLM. <clears throat> yeah, so. It's been an interesting week and yeah, also need, do need to keep an eye on an adjic as per usual. I was really happy with the videos that I did on the rural freedom movement. Oh, can you believe what a douchebag that dude is? Is this his name even? Jam? I can't remember his name. I want to say Jason, but it's not Jason. <laughs> Kurt? No, it's not Kurt either. I don't know. What, what, how did I forget his name? I literally just did a video on him. All right. Uh, so the other thing too, big news, XYZ pod, the first podcast is out. Like, Val, oh, chef's kiss, amazing. Because when we recorded, I think we were recording for... We didn't go to two hours. We went just under two hours and they managed to cut it all the way down to 55 minutes. Um, that is a champion effort for real because, you know, knowing 
how much I ramble on or Gus rambles on or, you know, all of us together and Val rambling. We all ramble. Um, if you've ever been at any of our roasts, which, which we're having tomorrow, but, but, uh, Boss Bay Bingo, you know that we are good at rambling. So it was really good to see it sort of come together so tight and yeah, it was, it was good. I was really happy with it. So I'm excited to get into that because it's, yeah, it's stepping away from anti-MLM and, but you know, like we've all discussed that we really love anti-MLM as well. And, uh, you know, we like, that's what we're in for the, in the advocacy sense. Like we, we do want to fight for the little guy and yeah, so we're excited. And I think that's it. Shall we start the video? Now, dear Kelsey, oh God, I did not see the videos that she had put out when Jessie Lee first passed away. She, she was not well, but also oversharing like a mother, like, like Courtney. I think that grieving is such an intimate act that to do it like that is it's not okay like it's weird and I think it's disrespectful not to have not to have that moment between you and the person who's deceased you know so yeah it was interesting and you know like Kelsey Ray was doing the same thing uh and it's so funny because I am about 90% sure that Jessie Lee did not like OnlyFans. Uh, was mean about it as well. Mm, but, and public, like Jessie Lee gave so much crap to, you know, getting your ass out on the internet like it was a bad thing. And it's like, Casey, that's, I mean, Kelsey, that's a direct attack on you. Direct. So, we're going to listen to, oh, has everybody subscribed to the Behaviour Panel? I just discovered them the other day and I am addicted. <laughs> I love it. And it's not, you know, like sometimes body language interpretation can be very, a little bit of a pseudoscience. It's a really not. What they, the Behaviour Panel uses, you know, tactics and interro interrogation sort of techniques to analyze the whole picture, including linguistics and things like that. So it's, it seems legitimate. Okay, let's get a video happening. Oh, so that's what I was going to say. So Kelsey, dearest Kelsey Ray, she's actually been talking about the things she doesn't usually talk about. Well, I, I tell a lie. She does talk about it, but she vague posts about it. The puppies are doing well. Oh, yeah, so she had this post. Let's have a look. So here she is, baby Kelsey Ray. She's, look at her. She was probably really sweet. Okay, so on the left there, this is Kelsey Ray's mugshot from when she was a, see, she was 17, 12 years ago. So, yeah. so she has to say, oh, attempted, so she was arrested for, and convicted of attempted murder and conspiracy to commit murder. Something else. Anyway, she doesn't usually name names in her. And then on the right there, we've got Kelsey Ray today with a drink. Mm, all right, let's have a look at the... Yeah, you're seeing this correctly. And yes, that's an orange jail jumpsuit. Most of you have no idea I was facing 90 years in prison for multiple fel fel felonies 12 years ago. I knew... I knew Kelsey, Kelsey Ray, and this, interesting, wrong place, wrong time, wrong friends, and no voice. I was the driver to go rob a drug dealer, and it went wrong. Oh, so it's just a random drug, drug dealer. I don't believe that for a second. I was certain my life was over. I was certain all I'd ever be was a high school dropout felon. I was certain, well, you still are. You still are a high school dropout felon. It's just that that's not the only thing you are, Jesus. I was certain I had no idea what to do to make it my life better. And here we are. Mother, public speaker, social media influence, workout junkie, healthy, a nice house, 
and my family of uh, of six leading a multi-million dollar business. You sell ketones, not your business. Countless times I felt like my past was haunting me and never escape. Yeah, well, it's a pretty big deal, Kelsey. Everyone knew me as the girl on the, on the news. I have I have went to hell and back in the past 12 years, literally. Now, she didn't name what she, she said here. Oh, yeah. Did it say anything about being attempted murder? Not on this one. Okay. So the reason why I say this is because I thought she was vague posting again where she's got her her mug shot, but she doesn't actually tell us what she's doing. But she did. She has actually spilled it. So she was talking about being in jail. And, yeah, so it seems that she is more willing to show because that's the first time I've seen her actually say, I, well, I attempted to murder someone. Well, she didn't say it in there either. Mm, so that's interesting. It's interesting also the timing because why wouldn't you have said that before? You know, she's like, she, this is the first time and I've been looking at her social media fairly um fairly often. Oh, there's Courtney. All right. So there was a picture of Jessie Lee and the live I'm going to show you is from Ken Keen. Yeah. The only reason, so this is Kelsey Reagan, the only reason I've been to five different countries is because Jesse, Jesse Lee was determined to make us experience life. Really? Oh, that needs to be a bit bigger. Some people would say that she brainwashed us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're in a cult. But truly, if believing in yourself to live a life you actually love is being brainwashed, please keep washing. All right, let's keep going. My brain was capped to the little town I grew up. What? It was capped to felony and being a mum. Until Jessie Lee showed me what was possible. This is our first trip out of the country and with monthly monthly conversation plans. This is our first trip out of the country and with our company without her physically here. It's not getting easier, by the way. In fact, it's harder every time I think about the moments I spent with her lifeless body um that's bizarre why would you be telling this story how i am now having to learn a whole new meaning of life and trying my hardest to understand that her spirit is still with me girl get the fuck away from that spirit because she, that spirit did not like you she's a snake death is so weird grief is so weird this trip is this trip <laughs> this trip is so bittersweet with all of that said I'm living my life with more purpose than I ever have before. I have to. It's too short to be scared or worried. I earned this trip through my company, paid with the exception of $260. Yes. A luxury a luxury trip out of the country for $260. You should join me. I was going to say before, like, I'm now having to learn a whole new meaning of life and trying my hardest to understand that her spirit is still with me. You have to learn a new meaning of life because Jessie Lee's gone. Uh, what about your kids and your partner? Are they not the people who you want to be, you know, including in this life, dream dream of life? It's, I have to, it's too short. Life is too short to be scared or worried. I earned this trip through my company, paid for with the exception of $260. Yes, a luxury trip out of the country for $260. You should join me. Money can always be made. Time cannot be taken back. Please do the damn thing that scares you. All right, money can be made, can it? Shall we look at the prove it? So the $260, well, the whole thing, the whole trip, she would have had to qualify with either a balance like where she sold a certain amount. She would have been having to qualify of being at a specific uh, rank and that will mean that she needs a team. And in the end, it counts as income and she will get taxed on it. So it's not really a free trip. Savannah Marie has been doing like a tarot card pool every day and I'm like oh, ooh, I wonder I wonder I wonder it, like what's her magic card of the day and her deck oh my god the deck is gorgeous 
the deck is so gorgeous. So um, I'm excited to see it. She's had so many jumpers. It's crazy. All right, let's have a look at this. So in 29... Mm, I don't know if this is the latest one. Jesus. Let's see if we can get a, a newer one, hey? Oh, here we go. So in 2022, 44.15% of promoters qualified as an unranked promoter. The average annual income of these promoters for 2022 was $10.48 with a high of $750 and a low of zero. On average, unranked promoters have been with Prove It for 20 months. Uh, rank one, R1. 16% and average was $304.18 with a high of $11,000 and a low of zero. And they usually have been with Prove It for 28 months. Then we've got rank twos, which is 5.43%, and they have an average of 1,537.98 over the year, with a high of 159,999. Holy shit. <laughs> One person must have got that. And a low of zero, on average, the rank two promoters have been with Prove It for 32 months. So yeah, um, is R11, so is Legend off the ranks? I can't remember. What was I gonna look at? Oh, I wanted to do a little bit. I gotta do my tax. I'm gonna do my tax while I watch Ch Kelsey, Kelsey Ray's video. What I have to do first of all though is I gotta go through all of my receipts and work out what the category they are because I've got like travel, um, stationery, professional development, you know, things like that. So, oh, I don't know where my phone is. I don't know where my phone is. Clint. <laughs> His name is Clint. I remembered. Yay. Okay, where's this fucking cozy later? So, we got 44.1. Why are there so many ads on my fucking calculator? How weird. 44.15 plus 16.26 plus 5.43. Okay, can you see? That's how I can. 65%, 65.84% of people are on the first three ranks, and no one's getting more than. Well, that rank two who earned 15.99. I wonder how they did that. 159,999. Yeah, so look, that's the compensation. So Kelsey Ray, uh, no. No. Money can always be made. Time can be not taken back. Please do the damn thing that scares you. Black bungee jumping. Fantastic. Seems like it'd be fun. Haven't gone. Love, love heights and I like being a little bit scared. <laughs> this sounds so weird. <laughs> when I am flying, I love flying. I love it. Okay, I have to hide my smile when we take off and land because I don't want to look like a lunatic because I'm just like, eek. <laughs> All right, let's watch this freaking thing. Oh, hang on, she had one more. She had one more thing that I wanted to look at on her Facebook. Okay, this one. I don't check my kid's backpack for homework. He was with you for eight hours. It's our time now. I'll teach them the real life lessons at home. Can you imagine? being the teacher and that's the parent you have to deal with because I've dealt with some tricky parents in my day and um guess what though guess what I hate homework I don't set it I agree my if anyone ever asks like uh, I don't teach English anymore um but when I have in the past and you know like people would be like what should you know they don't get any homework for English what should they do for homework and I said I'll always say read uh, because reading makes you a better writer. But uh, having a an arts load now, I'm not having to do that very often. Uh, yeah. But the tone of this is so aggressive. Like real life lessons, like they don't already learn life lessons at school. You send them to school. If you think that they're not getting the education that they need, it just implies that they're not doing anything at school and you're doing all the teaching at home. So it's weird that it's so aggressive, but you're the one who 
sends them to school, I'm going to assume. I had such a bad day yesterday. Um, yes, I had a really bad day yesterday. I got treated like rubbish. I had a class after lunch and uh, they stole. I might actually watch this Courtney thing, but I'm just going to save it first. Um, they stole my coat and sort of like hit it and whatever they'd done to it, it was on the ground and it was like fizzing up and I don't even like slightly, slightly flat coke, okay? I was so, I was so angry. Um, I was so angry. I, I just was like, how, how dare you put your hands on my things? You know, um, how dare you? I was so unhappy. And I got to the point where I was like almost crying because I was so, I was so angry. I don't know if anyone's ever been like that. If you get like so, 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 so angry. Yeah. Um, oh God, we're going to have some crotch shots from her, which is what happened when she was in Columbia too. We had lots of crotch shots. Uh, yeah, you know, like I've been mad and I've had, I haven't been that mad in a long time. And you get to the point where you're like almost crying, right? But, or when you're crying, but you're really angry. And then people are all like, oh, are you okay? And I'm like, and then you're feeling like, don't, don't, don't fucking touch me because you're so angry. And they just think, I hate it because it makes you seem like you're weak. And I'm like, I'm not weak. I don't need your help. I'm just, it's just emotions that are all coming out. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of annoying. But um, uh, I still can't, I'm, it makes me upset now today. And I've got to write something about it to the, to the boss I'm just so upset with about it and then you know when I was confronting the kids they were really nasty and then after work I was just like cruising and I went to Kmart and I locked my keys in the car which is almost impossible to do because you can't get in the car unless you've got the keys you know what I mean like there's no reason why I would yeah like I just have never really like I haven't done that in years and years and years and years and um, not only that, but my phone was in there as well. And I just was like, I was going to break a, break a window. It's a little bit chipped, but I didn't break it. And the glass was like impossible <laughs> to break. So I didn't break. And then I called RECQ, which is like, um, they come and rescue you. But I was freaking out because I didn't have my phone. Uh, and then he couldn't get it to like, so they took a while and I'm just sitting there cursing myself thankfully I had one earbud and the reason why it happened in the first place was because one of the Beats by Dre earbuds fell out and I kind of like got turned around and uh accidentally closed the door and yeah and then I got home and I'm like fuck this I hate everything and I was real sad so that's another reason why I didn't film last night as well I just wanted to do art and wallow in my sadness and I was real tired as well I'm tired now Okay, let's, we got this video. We're going to watch this Courtney one. Oh, spoiler alert for major grief and crying. Gosh, I'm not ready for this. I've seen stills of it, but I haven't seen the whole thing. God damn it. <laughs> I'm nervous. Okay, so she is driving. Uh, so she's driving. Oh, I need to read the caption. God fucking damn it. <laughs> Hang on. Ah, what are we giving for? She's got like, um, she's got like a star on here and it says you can give. Okay, so. Oh, is this stupid thing? I never felt more clear on a path, more strength in my soul. Or more full in life while simultaneously feeling uncertain sadness and a hole and a hole that will never be filled that's not the right hole dear i feel certain and also uncertain i feel joyful and also sadness i feel clarity and also foggy both can coexist i no longer ignore my intuition well you didn't ever before right oh hang on sorry 
I know what I know and what I don't. I allow myself the necessary time to decide. No one can shift my mind. I choose. I no longer ignore the need to, for rest. I am much more in flow when I am fully rested. No need to push because of the opposite effect on my efforts and energy. I no longer spend time with people who are not future-focused thinkers. Although this was already a thing, I drastically it drastically changed my life. No need to spend time with those not in alignment with you, with who you are at your core. I deserve to operate at my highest capacity of giving and receiving. So do you. Are you doing these two? Which one do you feel you're best at or possibly need to get better at? I am Courtney Shepard. Oh, my God. Uh, let's watch it. <laughs> Every shitty, awful thing that she's done and said, my heart hurt for that. I shouldn't be watching it, though. Like, Courtney, take some time away from social media, please. You don't need to. You said before, you said in your in the Facebook caption, which actually isn't a, I, I don't know what the things that you're not, I no longer care about. What are the three things you no longer care about? You didn't say, well, not clearly, maybe it was embedded, but. <laughs> this is not the answer. And also stop driving and recording yourself and singing, especially when you're crying, having also experienced drive crying. <laughs> It's hard, it's stressful, and you can't see the road properly. So, heartbreaking, just heartbreaking. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for, you know, it must hurt so much to have lost her. Even though we, we have the suspicions that Jessie Lee was never as invested in Courtney as she was in, you know, Jessie Lee. But... You know, that makes it harder, probably, for her, because, yeah, it was all she had. So, oh, that was awful. There's no reason why we should be looking at that, because you can grieve in private, and you should be grieving in private. And they went on the trip to Cancun, and I've got, you know, like, I think it's fine as far as the business goes, you know, show must go on. but. Uh, because your children are still probably processing this and you've gone away. So now they can't even process it with you, you know. Oof, yucky, yucky, yuck, yuck, yuck. That was bad. That was bad. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to watch Kelsey Ray now. Okay. So this is from Cancun. We've got boobs, we've got crotch, we've got everything. What am I going to do while we do this? Uh, oh, tax. I was like, I should have done this about three months ago, but, you know. All right, let's go. It's only short, so yay. 
Hey, 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 it's Kelsey Ray coming at you live from Cancun. As y'all are hopping on, please say. Oh, she sounds real sick. Also, the way they take these things just reminds me of like doing shots and taking pills. I hate it. Yeah. Uh, oh my god, my brain just glitched out. Drop a one if you're watching live. Drop a two if you're watching on the lot on the replay. That means that this live button is no longer up here. Bear with me, you guys. We have been going all day long. I woke up this morning um, feeling really sick. Like I don't know, not I don't know what's going on with my throat. Um, before you come to me, before you're like, where are you going? And not coming to Cancun and sitting in the fucking hotel room. So don't fucking come for me, okay? Okay, thank you very much. So as we're going through this, you guys say hi. I learned a lot of shit today, obviously about myself. Like anytime I go on a trip, it doesn't matter what I'm doing. Like if I'm doing something that's like life altering, or I just make everything I do life altering. I really do. And if you can relate to that, don't be. Do you have to alter your life like all the time though? Because it seems like it's pretty, pretty consistently altering it like all the time. Yeah. Seems a bit tiring. Also, I, I don't understand the anger. Don't come for me. <laughs> in the comments. Um, and so I want to talk about something I did that was really fucking scary today and really crazy and um, really give me a shift in perspective about like the type of person that I am inside of being a mom. And if you are a mom, drop the word mom in the comments. I want to see how many of you guys are like-minded. I, I want to see how many of you guys can, um, I can take advantage of. Also, um, this is, you said this is like a, a, you know, a reward trip that you got, that you, you know, like that you won and and um sounds like you were actually working is that what was happening you were working because that's what it sounded like when you were just describing it i'm gonna drink some ketones i'm gonna put some honey in my mouth and i'm gonna drink some water and put my cup up and then we're going back out to another park and so if you're new here drop new in the comments because you might not even know what's going on but go back and watch my last live and it should explain all of the things that you need to know so um, i'm not gonna waste your time with saying that all over again because i feel like it's probably the same people hopping on here so hi Brittany. hi susan Teresa, cheyenne you guys pray for me because like literally my throat is hurting. My voice is going. I don't know what's really going on, but nonetheless, I'll be fine. I'll be okay. Okay. So if you've ever been to Cancun, Mexico, or Excarreta, Excarret, Excarret, drop a yes in the comments. If you've never been, drop a no. Okay. So, and I'm asking that for a specific reason. So please do me a favor and answer honestly in the comments. Um, and if you have been, then you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. There is, um, it's called senses. Okay. So X senses or senses. Everything starts with an X, by the way. I mean, that's just like on brand for them. But it was called Senses, and it's a park, and pretty much everything in this park, there was a bunch of different attractions inside of this park, and it was really crazy. Oh, by the way, I know I'm about to say some life-altering-ish on this live, okay? So if you do nothing at all, I will put your name into my weekly giveaway, and all you have to do to win that or be entered into that is just share it out. So tap that share button and then comment the word shared, and I'll take your name and put it into my giveaway because I know I'm going to say something that's probably going to resonate with a lot of people on here, especially if you are a mom. And so, do What's happening? What? What? Did, why is there a giveaway? What? What's the giveaway? What's the prize? Why? I don't even have her on too far. Like, she's on normal. Yeah. Like, what the hell? I'm, I'm confused. All right. Let's keep going. A favor, please, and share it out and comment the word shared, okay? Um, ketones literally has Ashikawanda and Mitoplex. So I'm really excited. Oh, shit. I should have took... Anyways, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm going to take some of this honey because my throat. Y'all got anything else I can do naturally while I'm in Mexico? Can give me your honest, like, advice of what I can do about my throat right now? Uh, oh, about her throat. I was going to give her some honest feedback about leaving. Prove it. And just doing OnlyFans. Girl, go for it. Now, uh, the whole mud thing looked awesome. What an experience, Nicole. It was. Thank you so much for that comment. I love when you guys like comment on some of my content about my other content. And just like, oh, I love that y'all actually enjoy that content, right? Um, so anyways, my God, let me get to the freaking point. So census, okay, is like, that's the name of the part. Hot tea. I do have hot tea. I drink some of that this morning. So thank you, Teresa. So I, um, it's called census. And the whole park pretty much is just a park full of activities that you do and that you walk through that just alert your senses, like the visuals and the smelling and the feels of everything. And just like how, like just everything, right? There's five, there's five senses, right? Everybody, like there's smell, there's taste, there's um, sight, there's what are the rest of the ones? My brain's not working. But anyways, it was a really cool park. And so one of the... I can't remember the senses that are at the center of this entire experience that I'm telling you about while taking ketones consistently that are supposed to help you with your brain function in some way they claim i know it doesn't but that's what they say what's wrong jesus take a day off if you're sick it, um one of the first things that we did when we went in there was it is a black tunnel you guys and everybody kept talking about this and i was like oh not that big of a deal i gotta get some honey in my throat because it's hurting so freaking bad thank you guys so much for sharing this i appreciate y'all so much okay so, um, 
this dark tunnel and getting to the experience. I'm sorry if I'm annoying you and I'm taking too long. I am taking a long time to get to this point. Uh, I think, I think she's way too fast. Jesus, like, look, it's a funny thing. Here we go. Is that Blossom? Oh no, I think it's Buttercup. So this is Buttercup. She got her eyes open. Hey, Buttercup, got her eyes open. Yeah, pretty girl. A pretty girl. She was just out of the uh, out of the puppy hole. Have we got a yawn? Give us a yawn. Or a bleep. No bleep. No bleep. <laughs> Let's keep going. They, there was literally, so we walk into this little area. We couldn't have any shoes, no phones, no nothing. We couldn't have anything on us besides us. We walked into this little area and we sat down. We were watching a TV that was explaining you have to keep your hands out in front of you. Walk at the same place. Walk very slowly um, and pretty much keep calm. Hillary, hey girl, what's up? Teresa, thank you for sharing. I feel you. I feel you. I was reading. I feel you. I feel you about allergies. And it might very well be allergies, Brittany, because switching the time, the um, like the atmosphere. Or switching like the, it's so hot here, literally. Okay, I come from it being good. Anyways, uh, and then you look on the side and there's like these, these pathways. So there's like eight different pathways that you walk down and it like, and you'll see like there's a cave, right? And like each pathway has its own like little carved out um, space to walk into this cave. It's like a tunnel. You go into this black, dark tunnel. Have y'all ever experienced this? Yes or no in the comments if you've ever been to X Carvet. Bismuth, thank you, babe. I appreciate you so much, okay? Um, oh, shit. Okay, yeah, but like, Kelsey Ray, it's not the only place in the world that has like sensory activities, you know? Like you could say that. Why are you so desperate? For people to connect with that one thing. Sorry, y'all. I got a ring light on my phone, and I was just making sure it was good to go. Okay. So, anyways, we're walking through it, and I have anybody else have anxiety? Like, I have anxiety, and um, I also one thing that I learned about myself through this experiment or this like thing that it's just supposed to be fun, right? And, but I like I said, like I really am just like I'm a I just make something out of nothing all the time, and I feel like that's the best kind of person to be. But I realized that one, I don't like being alone. And two, I depend on a lot of people or I depend on other people a lot of the time for mostly for emotional and mental mm, dependency. Uh, mostly for your entire existence because you are in a multi-level marketing company and you cannot have success without those extra people. So, yeah. Uh, we know, we've, we've been knowing, we, 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 this, these things are known, that you need other people, not just for, like, you know, support like that, but for pretty much everything in your life. Yeah, we know. Okay, we'll just say that. Um, and it's something that I have to work through, and I think it comes from my childhood where I literally just was ignored my entire life, and then when I went to school, I was bullied. And it's just like, I, I just feel, I felt invisible my entire life, and that's why I'm so good at social media. And that's why I make so much money through social media, because I love this shit. I love going live, I love making content, okay? I'm sorry. You being lonely as a child is the reason why you made so much, make so much money on social media. Do you, though? You make money on social media. It's a pretty bold claim to say, that's why I make so much money on social media. You make the majority of your money from having a team with a multi-level marketing company. This is deceptive and it's not okay. Like, leave those people alone. For real. By the way, y'all say hi to one if you're watching live, okay? I'm going to try to get through this without losing my voice. So anyways, we go, we go into the tunnel and it's not at all what I expected. It was literally so fucking scary. I'm not joking when I tell you it was so scary. And so the only way I know to explain it, I got to get some more honey and then drink some water. Hold on. Now. Don't forget you guys tap that share button, comment the word shared pretty please. I appreciate you guys so much for doing that. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Full the better. So anyways, we go through and it was so fucking scary because I didn't expect it. And what was happening when I, when you walk in, it's just something that alerts your senses. You can hear and feel and smell and like, it just experience everything you just. You already explained what the fucking place was about. Senses. Yeah, we get it. She just named the senses as well when she couldn't name them before. Girl, this is a whole mess. Did you think about it before you press record? I'm going to guess no.
I can't see anything. It is the craziest fucking thing. You already explained that as well. My God. Thing is completely blacked out, dark tunnel, and everything. Larissa, thank you, girl. I actually got it from Amazon. It's linked in my Amazon storefront if you guys want to get it. It's amazing. I wear a large, okay? I also got big old titty bitties, okay? So, anyways, we were walking through, and first of all, the first thing that I noticed, how many of you guys are more sensitive to sound? Are you more sensitive to sound or touch, like, feeling things, like slimy stuff? What grosses you out or freaks you out more? Something that sounds creepy or something that feels weird? Tell me in the comments, sound or feel? What type of person are you? Because the first thing that I noticed about myself that was freaking me out was the sound. Like, it's very just dark and qu It's not quiet in there, but it's, it's quiet, but, like, there's a lot of sounds. Like, it sounds like you're in the jungle. Literally, what I envisioned in my head was that I was in the jungle by myself and it was completely pitch black dark and I just kept telling myself I had to tell myself the entire time it's not real it's fake you're safe you're safe you're safe I plugged one of my ears and you had to keep your hand out in front of you the entire time so that you didn't hurt yourself but I just had to keep telling myself it's fake it's fake it's fake because if I had not done that I would have absolutely lost my shit because for me I can keep myself calm I can keep myself level-headed but when I lose my shit I will lose my shit and then it's like really hard to come back out of it um, and so that's just the kind of person that I am. You can let me know in the comments with a heart if you relate to that. But anyways, we're walking through. There's like stuff hanging. There's stuff touching my shoulders. There's like, um, and, it, and it changes as you're walking through it. So at one point we're walking through and it kind of like dipped down. It almost felt like you were going to fall down a fucking hill. It was so weird. And like it was so closed in. And they said if you're claustrophobic, you cannot do it. And so it was like so closed in. There was stuff touching your arms. There were sounds going off like like birds chirping and like growling things. And it was fucking creepy. It was so scary. And so, um, and it's fine. I'll go through and block the creep after. Don't worry about that. And so anyways, we were going through and, um, and there was water and there was one point, like I said, one point in time, like there was some, like, um, it was like a, a downhill slope that we were, that I was walking through and then like it, the, it was water and then at the bottom of it was, um, sand and we walked through that and there was just like a lot of different noises going on around me. It sounded like I said, we're in the forest, we're in a tropical forest on some island where there's creatures and, and creepy shit all around you and you're by yourself. Just imagine that, right? And it, it was like, honestly, when we got out, everybody was like, yeah, that was funny. I was like, I was terrified. I was this does sound like a torture. Thing. What is it for though? I don't understand. Is this a team building? Who? Why? Who are you with? But you said you were by yourself. I am so fucking confused right now. I'm literally fucking terrified. Okay, but I'm gonna tell you the whole point of why I'm telling you guys this. Oh please do. But anyways. We were walking through that. I was walking through that. And then we come to a bridge, which was like a, it felt like I was on a bridge and like, it was like wooden. And then there was like railings, like rope railings on the side, but it was like moving. And it was like the creepiest freaking thing. But anyways, through this entire experience with me, like just being absolutely terrified out of my effing mind. Again, if you've ever been here, drop a yes in the comments. And don't forget you guys tap that share button, comment or share. But through this entire experience, I learned, like I said a minute ago, but like I depend on other people way too much for my comfort. I'm way too comfortable depending on other people for a lot of different things like it, like just for a lot of different things and i don't need to do this so this was almost like i took it like as a leadership exercise in a leadership meeting like in a in a team in a business um as a mother as a mother like it taught me a lot about how i parent like again it's everything in life is how i'm sorry what this thing of you walking in the dark with weird sounds and slimy floor taught you about how you parent hang on i is she i need to hear it again because like but but uh, what was the lesson then if it taught you something other people for a lot of different things like it, like just for a lot of different things and i don't need to do this so this was almost like i took it like as a leadership exercise and leadership means like in a, in a team um, as a mother, as a mother, like it taught me a lot about how I parent. Like again, it's everything in life is how you perceive it. It really is. Okay, if you believe that, put a flame emoji in the, in the in the in the comments. I was really claustrophobic. Um, I'm not claustrophobic, but I mean, here's the thing though. A lot of people, and I'm not saying that this is any of you guys, but there's been a lot of people I've like met where they say they're claustrophobic and they've never been diagnosed with claustrophobia, and it's like I don't think that you have to be diagnosed with claustrophobia i mean it's something that you either are or you're not let's have a look many people live with claustrophobia without having it formally diagnosed and take great care to avoid confined spaces but getting help from a gp or a specialist with expertise in behavioral behavioral therapy such as a psychologist can often be beneficial oh no Seems like you're wrong there, Kelsey Ray. What a surprise. 
And she's going to say, that means it's all in your head. You're not actually claustrophobic because you haven't been diagnosed. We'll see how my prediction goes. We know that I'm not as good as Erin at predictions, but I've never been in an MLM. She's got, she's got the edge on me. All right. There's so much stuff. There's so many barriers in your mind that stop you from doing things that okay. will actually make you grow. And had I not, had I been like, no, I'm claustrophobic. Cause I mean, I can say that I'm claustrophobic. I don't like, I don't like tight spaces. Nobody likes tight spaces. Nobody likes to be up in a tight, dark space. Every, that scares everybody, right? Can I get an amen? Okay. That scares everybody. Everybody in some form or the other is claustrophobic. And I understand that that's an actual term. But anyways, my whole point is it, like that well, everything in life is what you perceive. It's how you perceive it. And so I just wanted to share my experience with you guys because I learned a lot about myself and, and how I lead and how I parent. And the whole time I'm getting goosebumps, the whole time walking through this, um, I, all I, all I could do because I was fucking terrified, like I was really actually scared is I just had my hands out in front of me. I had one, my hand out, I had one ear plugged and I just kept repeating. Like the, the, I think there was like safety people maybe far back behind me or something. I don't know if anybody heard me, but I just kept saying to myself, you're not in danger. You are safe. It's almost over. Keep going. Anything that I could say, like I was literally trying to talk my brain into understanding that what I was experiencing was not real and that I didn't need to be scared. And I think that that's what a lot of you need to be doing when you're, when you're faced up against something that feels like it's going to kill you or something that's scary or something that you are not really doing. Uh, something that's killing, why are you, what are your qualifications for giving advice out on this specific thing? Cause I think they're nothing. And also, that's uh, clutching at straws. You sometimes like it's a very literal interpretation. Sometimes you don't know what's ahead, but you, all you've got out in front of you is a hand, and you just feel your way through it until you get success. Mm. Uh, no, you don't, because sixty-five percent of people in prove it. Um, not wait, making more, like enough money to basically live. You know because you're terrified of it is tell yourself it's not going to kill me quite literally it's not going to kill me i am safe i am not in danger we're almost there keep moving and i don't know if any if you feel like okay oh, yeah, here's a hot take given the timing of this when you experience something difficult and you say, this is not going to kill me, I am safe. Um, you literally lost Jesse Lee three weeks ago, maybe a month ago. She said that she was not going to die. It's, it, it's not going to hurt her. She was safe. And she wasn't. She died. So having this be the lesson right now seems a bit fucking insensitive if you ask me. Like, uh, no, Kelsey, Ray. Um, sometimes people go through stuff and it's scary and they do die because what they're going through is something that's stronger than your positive outlook. You can't think somebody better. All right. Otherwise, Jessie Lee would have survived and she would have done it on her own because she wanted to think herself better. Okay. I find this really, really fucking insensitive just to say, it's not going to hurt you. It's not going to kill you, except when it does. Right. Goosebumps are just powerful for any of you guys. But if it is, you definitely need to share this out and comment the word shared because I feel like so many people need to hear that. Because it is such a worldwide thing that so many people were walking through life terrified of every fucking thing around us. And it's like, yes, Hillary, like I have anxiety. Sorry, you guys. Brittany said, yes. Would you do this experience again? Yes. But also it wouldn't be the same because I've already been through it. Like literally I would just, you know what I mean? It might be different. I don't know. Um, my, hey, girl, what are you talking about? Yes, Jensen, please message me because I'm going to be in a drug case. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, girl, that sounds really scary. Okay. Trinity, thanks for sharing me. I appreciate you. Amber was in a different tunnel. Like nobody, you, you had to do this experiment or this activity by yourself. And so anyways, with that being said, um, I just learned a lot about myself. And like, number one, I learned a lot of good things about myself. It's not all about that. I learned a lot of good about myself in the sense of, I learned that I have such a strong mind. I have the capability to talk myself through any situation. I do have the ability to lead myself because I did it. 
And I think that a lot of people are so terrified or dependent on, on somebody else or maybe dependent on your husband to create the income because you're terrified to start that business. And I'm speaking in these terms because there's so many of you watching me right now and you want my life so bad. How many of you guys, tell me in the comments, how long have y'all been watching me? Wow, uh, that is interestingly arrogant. You want my life so bad. Uh, no, thank you. She sounds so frantic just now. And, you know, like, she's supposed to be delivering this boom message. And it's like, blah, 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 blah. and how many people did it? And share it out, share it out. Um, chill the fuck out. It's not that serious. And guess what? Sometimes people will say that they have to ask their husband before they do the business uh, because it's an excuse and they don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh, I'm going to check with my husband on that one. And you're like, run, run, run. Okay. It just seems very frantic to me. And I don't like it. I think it's manipulative messages daily i want your life i want to travel i want to work for my phone i want to make money it's like but you're terrified that what i'm doing is a scam and that is stopping you and maybe your husband makes the money and pays the bills so you don't necessarily have to oh you don't have to make money so you can you can be in my in my pyramid scheme because it doesn't matter if you make money or not because your husband makes the money so it's okay if you lose money because it's not a scam even though we've had a look at the income disclosure statement right yeah even though there's like has been allegedly led and tested in the ketones, right? Yeah. Even though there's allegedly more than just Jesse Lee have uh, died from cancer, allegedly, right? Oh, girl, you're reaching. Stretch. You need a stretch for that reach, okay? But you're like, fuck, I want to bring money in. We're, we're, we're not like hor struggling horribly, but like, you know, but my point being is, Candace, thanks for the hearts. I appreciate you, girl. I am very proud of myself. And um, I just realized a lot. Of, I just realized a lot about myself and my leadership and my capabilities and understanding that, like, I have the capability to talk myself through anything. What, though? From it. What is the new knowledge that you gained from it? Because it doesn't seem like it's anything except for, I went and did this thing and it helped me. The end. You're like, you're not expanding on how it helped you. The ability to get through anything. Mm, it's a bit weak. Your mind, your mind is so powerful. It's so strong. You have no idea. Okay. So that's what I learned today. And um, going back to the business conversation, as I always say on any live that I do, if you guys want to like talk to me more about what it is that I actually do for work and how I work for my phone, you can drop a dollar sign in the comments below and I can send you details. Um, I will never send you a cold message ever unless you're interacting with it, some of my content. Um, but I would love to have a conversation if you feel like you could show up on social media. I will never send you a cold message. Um... If I don't know you, if you don't know the person, Kelsey Ray, even though they contact you first, it's still a cold message if you are talking to somebody that you don't actually know. Oh, damn. Even Jessie, Jessie Lee did that. If somebody liked her stuff on socials, uh, she counted that as not a cold message if she contacted that person because they liked her stuff so it wasn't completely cold but it still was so we know why she has that opinion but it's still wrong yes it's still a cold message if you are messaging with somebody who you don't actually know media and you can be coachable and uh, you would like to have some freedom in your life making some making a few extra hundred bucks a month like anything like that right so anyways i think we have to go and we're being rushed i love you guys so much appreciate you thank you for hopping on thank you for sharing this out and i will catch you guys live um tomorrow <coughs> Perhaps that was a boring live to watch, but it was interesting to see a couple of different things. And hmm, interesting that she didn't talk about Jesse Lee at all. Maybe she did on the one before this because she alluded to it being weird. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't think she's. I don't think she's doing as badly as Courtney. I personally think, I'm like, girl, get get your bag from OnlyFans, for starters, okay? You've made a lot of money from ketones. Get it out of there. Go to OnlyFans. 
because now you don't have a nagging upline who is trying to make you feel bad for something that you've been very successful at, you know? Yeah. Uh, oof. My brain. I have been, like, blanking out lately. Jesus. Can you see the dogs? Thank goodness they're not humping anymore. Yeah, so I think it's interesting. A bit insensitive, some of the parts of this, and, yeah. Seems like people are not doing, oh, sorry, hang on. she was saying that, oh, so Kelsey Ray was one of the people who was saying that Jesse Lee beat the cancer and died of something else, and that is not true. Even if she did die of sepsis or some sort of problem with the kidney, uh, it is still heavily connected to the cancer, and that's what she died of. So any conspiracy coming from anyone saying different, they're not telling you the truth. So, yeah. Allegedly, don't come for me. That's Stephanie Harlow. <laughs> All right. Oh, shall we have another puppy moment to finish? Let's go. We got Bubbles and bl and Buttercup. Oh, no, we had Buttercup. Bubbles and Blossom. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Bubbles, Mr. He's our little boy. Oh, you got some lips for us. You got a blippies. Blippies. Oh. <laughs> he was just eating. Oh, you got lots of licks. Oh, the baby. That's sweetie. Oh, Tweety. Oh, the big baby. Oh, big baby. Oh, big baby. We'll put you down. Where is Miss Blossom? Oh, she's sleepy. She's down. I see her. Come on, baby. Wow, wow. He needs Blossom. What's a hello? Hello. Oh, big yawn. Big yawn. <laughs> now, I've heard that Amy's, one of Amy's kids likes a little blossom, Wilma's blossom. No, was she did, sweetie. Oh, oh, big, big head toss. She's a drama queen. They're pretty quiet, actually, and they're not too walk about at the moment yet. So we'll see how they go. Oh, she's rowdy. You're getting rowdy here, girl. I get ready. Mm. Oh, boo -boo. Oh. Oh, boo -boo. <laughs> mm. All right. All right. Didn't get finished my, with my tax. I'm I'm sorting. So we've got this is very faded. What is it? Um. I think it's just miscellaneous wrap costumes, possibly. So we've got piles, we've got like fuel, because I used to live in the country. I used to have to drive an hour to go and get my groceries. And then I've got lots of, you know, like arty things. I think that's a book. Yeah, so got to sort, sort them. I don't, when I actually... Yeah, this is real interesting. To sh I actually put my deductions down. I just put it as one figure, but I break it down before that. So then I can s sort of like, you know, ascertain what goes where and blah, blah, blah. Because I do get a pretty good ref refund. And every year, last year I was going to get myself a portable spa and I didn't end up doing it. Uh, all right. Be good. We'll see you on the, we'll see you on the flip flop tomorrow for Las Bay Bingo. We postponed Boss Bay Bingo, and it is going to be next Sunday, so stay tuned for details on that same time and next Sunday. Although we, we're going to dress up, we're not going to, we are going to have a big Boss Bay, we are going to have a big Halloween episode. All right, have a good one, everybody. Take care, be good, like and subscribe, and I'll see you when I'm looking at you. Okay, bye-bye.